Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us for some music about Glacier National Park. There's a lot of choices out there. Everybody's live streaming, and there's a lot of wonderful stuff. But I appreciate you stopping by here for a few minutes to see what we're doing. This is the second of a weekly series I've started um, about our national parks. And what I'm doing each week is I'm highlighting a park that either I was an artist in residence at, I wrote music about, or I have been invited to, to be an artist in residence at in the future. Now, as you and I both know, the future is somewhat vague at this point, but we're hoping it will be in the next year or so. The first concert that we did was about Badlands National Park. Uh, that was two weeks ago, and it featured David Cullen on the guitar. If you missed it, you can see it on my um, webpage, jillhaley.com. Just go to the um, video link, and then my webmaster has called it the Quarantine Series, and you'll find it there. Tonight we're doing four pieces about Glacier National Park. I was there a couple years ago as an artist in residence for a month, and when I arrived, it was raining, a little drizzly, and the park staff that was helping me get settled said, don't worry, it's going to clear up. And I was there for 30 days, and 28 of them it rained. And the first week was pretty, like, hard, because I thought, oh, when's it going to clear? And you'd look at your phone and go, oh, we still got more, more rain coming. And then finally, after several days, I said, you know what? Let's just embrace this. The park is obviously giving me a gift. It's giving me water. There's beautiful streams there. There's waterfalls. There's lakes. So that stuff was already there. And then I also got the water in the form of the snow and in the rain. So this first piece that we're going to do um, tonight is called Ripples on Two Medicine Lake. I did create a donate link on my Facebook page and also Glacier National Park Conservancy page and Glacier National Park page. I believe it's there also. You can donate if you are feeling like you would like to do that, and I'm sure the park would greatly appreciate it. So thank you for considering that. Ripples on Two Medicine Lake was written, um, it was snowing that day when I went there, and the water just created almost like a, I'm going to use a musical term now, folks, 5-8 rhythm, a do ba do ba do boo ba do ba do kind of rhythm. And that rhythm I tried to capture in the piano arpeggio. So this is Ripples on Two Medicine Lake. The lake in the photo over there, unfortunately, I don't have a blown up one of, of Two Medicine Lake, but that is uh, Lake McDonald, I believe. So you can just pretend it's Two Medicine Lake. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
friend, Sue McDevitt. She has traveled twice to Glacier with me. She came out at the end of my residency and we did a concert of this music and then we went out last year and did one in the summer, um, which was fun because then we took back the whole video. I put together a video that goes along with these pieces um, and we did that whole concert at Glacier, so that was a lot of fun. So this next one is called Falling Gold. And this is about the falling aspen leaves and, and the other leaves. Um, again, I was there um, in the fall, in autumn. So um, in between the raindrops, the aspen leaves would come falling down, fluttering on. I'm sure those of you have been there in October. And I know a lot of the people watching here probably have been there because there's a lot of glacier lovers out there. Um, you know how those aspen leaves fall down. And they make just this kind of cascade of gold. You felt like gold was falling from the sky. So in this piece, I attempted to musically recreate that with this opening, opening motif. Falling gold.
So that's the falling gold. <clears throat> About well, maybe six or seven days into my first week there when I realized that I was going to be uh, pretty much spending most of my time in the rain, I um, <clears throat> decided to hike up on Huckleberry Mountain, walk up there. And as I started out, it was drizzling a little bit, and as the further I went up the mountain, the faster the rain started coming down. It got pretty intense, but at the same time, it was amazingly beautiful because the canopy of all the trees was breaking the water. So you'd feel like this dripping, and of course there were some cool spider webs, and you'd see all the droplets in the spider webs. And it was just so beautiful. So this piece attempts to um, capture the spirit of rain on Huckleberry Mountain. Now, Rain on Huckleberry Mountain, and the last one you just heard, Falling Gold, I do have the videos with the music up on my YouTube channel. If you want to see the actual images that inspire these pieces, you just go to the Jill Haley channel on YouTube, and you can, can find those too. Here's Rain. So it's been really fun to bring it to you tonight in this format. So thank you again for sticking with us and listening. Um, let's see, a couple of things. Oh, um, next week we're going to do one on May Severity. And that's going to feature David Cullen on guitar and Dana Cullen on the French horn and piano. Uh, 
it's my daughter Dana and my husband David. So it's going to be a true family and quarantine event next <laughs> next Sunday night at seven. And then each Sunday night at seven, we'll be highlighting a different park. Um, I think I have enough music to get us through a while, but hopefully we'll be out of this quarantine before we get through all this music. Um, what I do each time I go to the park, after I write the music, I do a concert at the end, and then I come home and I make a recording. This is called The Waters of Glacier. And after my second album, somebody said, could you put in photos of the different places you wrote the music about, which I did. Um, so this album, The Waters of Glacier, and my first album, Glacier Soundscapes, are available at the Glacier National Park Conservancy Store online, or, an or Amazon. Um, but um, support the store if you can. That's great, because at these times, um, it's going to be a tough year. It's going to be a tough year for everybody. So that's about the CD, and I, of course, want to thank the Glacier National Park staff. They've been great at coordinating with me, not only now, but over the last several years, from the first time I set foot there in that rain um, to coming back and doing a concert. And I do hope to everybody, the folks in Glacier, that we can come back again and share another concert of the music we didn't do last time. So hopefully we can do that again in the future when the world gets back to normal. So thank you again, and if you can donate, please go to the link either on my page or on the Glacier National Park Conservancy page and donate to Glacier National Park. This is called Running Eagle Falls. This is um, a popular, not too far off the road kind of place to visit there, so a lot of you who've been to Glacier have probably seen it. It's a great little waterfall, and again, I saw it in the snow, so I got some beautiful video of the snow falling on it. Running Eagle Falls, thanks again to Sue McDevitt for playing with me.
take care.